what it is, man. It's your boy Nova Mills. Back in uh, back in this spot, two four three YM podcast. Today we got my man, the legend, Habe. How you doing, man? Too kind, too kind. <laughs> How you doing, chilling, man? Chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. Thank you for having me, man. How's everything, though? How's everything? Thanks. What's new? Man, things are good. Um, you know, back in the studio. Yeah? Yeah, recording. Um, finally. Finally. You know, it's funny. <laughs> my, my first album was called Finally. Ah, shit. Yeah, so it, it's funny you say that. Um, yeah, but, you know, back in the studio, recording again, and it feels... I feel I feel back home. I feel back at home. That's right. You know? So you're more creative now. You're more, you you're more energized, ready, ready to go, or like uh, you feel like you got a pack in your back now. Or? Oh man, just like gunpowder, you know. Or <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Shit. How many? How many songs have you recorded so far? Um, so far, um, actually, I've recorded five. Five? Yeah. Five, okay. But um, two already released. They're already out. Um. Um, they're streaming all platforms. Um, What's the title? Give, give, let the people know, man. What's the title? So, my first single was Incredible. Y'all go check that out. Yeah. Um, and then the second one is Soul Freak. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. So, these, these, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're more of um, kind of like back in the day um, tracks, real soul. Mm-hmm. And, um, more like a Marvin Gaye-ish um, Temptations, James Brown, of course. Nice, nice. Um, especially Soul Freak. Soul Freak is almost like a dedication to to James Brown. Type of vibe, eh? Type of vibe, oh. yeah. A little bit of funk twist, you know, the twist back in the day when they used to do the twist. <laughs> it, it's funky. It's dope. You should check that out, too. The video coming out soon, too. We're shooting that. Mm. So who, who's who's the pro, uh, producers behind all that? Do you, do you have, like, a couple producers you do, you're working with in, in the city that you can shout out or... Yeah, you know, shout out to uh, MF Smooths, mm-hmm. um, you know, Curtis, uh, Nick Degree, and there's a bunch of others that we have talked about um, working, working. So that's that's about to come uh, come about soon enough. But until that happens, that's when I'll give you a shout out. No, uh. no all love, all love, y'all. But um, definitely some some incredible. Um, talents out there and uh, I can't wait to work with them. Speaking of music, when did you felt like music was your thing? Like, Man, it all started, I would say when I was little, but around four. But oh, Four? Yeah, four years old. But when I really started getting into music, I would say uh, when I was 21. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember walking in, um, at a hallway at school, and I came across a, a music room. Really? Yeah, and uh, I walked in there, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it was like a overwhelming film. It was an incredible feeling. It was like a force, you know, mm-hmm. that grabbed me and held me and said, yeah. you know, this is where you belong. Nice. And ever since then, I forgot about everything else, whether it was basketball, soccer. Forget it. Uh, you name it, you know. I said, "Yeah, that this ain't is it. That, that wasn't you no more." Nah, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was a rap. <laughs> that was it. This is like, yo, music is where it's supposed to be. Kill it. <laughs> you just like, you know what? That's it. That's it. Now it, th- this is home. This I, I can't. I couldn't think of anything else that that made me feel whole until mm-hmm. till today. You know, I could do this forever, even if I don't get as big as Michael Jackson or bigger than or whatever mm-hmm. the case. This mm-hmm. is home. This is what makes me happy. You know. And that's that, man. Really. What 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 inspires you? Like, what inspires you to do this? Like, who who inspired you to? That's another question I like to know. Who inspired you to be like, you know what? I'm gonna do my music thing. Yeah, like once once you got that feeling, yeah. And then you're like, and then maybe you're listening to something or you're watching something like that. This is it. This this I want to be like that. Man, um, which is funny, you know, you know when you're younger, mm-hmm. you. If you're multi-talented, sometimes it could be a distraction. Yeah. Some some kids or people have they learn what they want to do or know what they want to do at an early age. As for me, mm-hmm. 
I did, but I wanted to do a number of things. However, the first um, person I looked up to um, was Michael Jackson. You know? Wow. Yeah, I used to see him do the moonwalk, the dancing, the, the acting. Um, him changing into werewolf till today. Nah. Like afraid of thriller. <laughs> I would never really? stop being afraid of thriller, man. <laughs> but that's that's how good he was. He, yeah, he really man. convinced me that this is you you know this, this is art, you know. And and I'm like, yo, you know, one day I want to be able to do the same thing. He, he that's doing. crazy, man. Yeah, it's it's uh. Imagine thriller back then, like, but the who. I know. Who came who, up who, with who, that, who, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. That's why it was so ahead of its time. Oh my god. Even if you watch it today. Yeah. You know, when he's transforming into the werewolf that and whatnot. And then wild. he was and when he was um dancing with the uh, with the dead. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Like the the, the filmography, yeah. the, the the directing, um the acting. They were going crazy dog, back then dude. though. Like oh. compared to the videos now, like you don't you don't get that excitement. Yeah, because they were hungry. The hunger, you know, it's that hunger. Because I remember being young, be, being a kid, one want, wanting to watch it, but because I already watched it once, I already know how scary it was. But mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I want to watch it again. But I'm like, you know, yeah, you're still like, the, there's a little bit of uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because then that's the thing. It, it's just the, the creativity. The creativity. Bro. It was just in, incredible, man. Till today, I, I'm always trying to top that, you mm -hmm. know. But obviously. It's it's Mike, you know. He had his magic. Now it's my turn to do mine, you know. Yeah. Or make mine, should I say? What's uh, some of the challenges you you have faced in in life? Oh man, um, I would say well, one mm -hmm. is uh, you know being a dad. You know. Yeah, I was um, gonna ask you about that. How's the the fatherhood? Yeah. Oh man, it, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, just seeing something you made, you know, come to life and seeing another, like, pretty much you. And you're like, wow, this, this, this is dope. And then you see certain things that he's doing that you're kind of like, okay, well, you can't be doing that. You know? And so you're correcting yourself in a way. But um, the fact that, you know, he's curious just like how I was, and I still am, you know, uh, very smart, very, uh, outgoing and wanting to learn um, yeah. it's a beautiful thing and me being there and him looking up to me the excitement know, it's the excitement you know yeah. it's, it's it's a beautiful thing um when it comes to the hardest thing i've challenged today mm -hmm. is the loss of my mom r.i.p yeah r.i.p for sure man he, she was my my heir my uh, my heart my best friend like how do you even deal with that Honestly, if I had the answer to it, man, I think everybody would be okay who have lost their loved ones. But um, mm -hmm. I just take it day by day and and thank God that, you know, he blessed me with somebody as beautiful as as she was. You know? mm -hmm. it, it, it's hard, you know, because I, I haven't even gone back home. For those who don't know, um, I'm originally from Tanzania and I haven't even gone African back home. African descent. Yeah. You know, I haven't gone back home to um, to pay my respects. Um, I guess I'm just not ready yet. Mm -hmm. I know eventually I will soon. Um, half of the time I think she's alive, and half of the time I'm like, man, she's gone. Because at times I would want to call her and be like, hey, moms, you know, I'm going through this. Or, hey, mom, I met this girl. Or, hey, mom, I made this song. You got to hear it. Can't wait for you to hear it. Mm -hmm. And then it just hits me, and I'm like, oh, man, she... She was like one of the guy, one of the, the 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 people that like motivated you to keep going. Like, 100%, you know, man. One hundred percent. She Fuck always. Your she, you know, she just told me, you know, never give up. And even if she saw me down, mm -hmm. she'd be like, "What do you do?" She always had a saying, you know, "Pull up your socks." It's an old saying, but it always. Pull up your socks. <laughs> yeah, pull up your socks. You gotta pull up your socks. Oh, what are you doing? Shit. Like looking down and stuff. Nah, you gotta, you know. She's like a soldier, you know. That's she, a new shit. I never heard that. I like that though. I like that. I like that. Pull up your socks. You know, so.